Hello and welcome back to the Regiment's Standard Operating Procedures video guide. I am Major Wood. Today we will go over SOP3, Reporting and Land Navigation. ACE is a concise report relaying the element's capability and capacity to continue the mission. ACE report uses color coding to relay statuses similarly to weapons codes that we covered in the SOP1 video guide. It stands for A. Ammunition Green if you have over 80% of your ammunition left. Yellow if you have under 80% ammo left. Red if you have two magazines or less and black when you're out of ammo. C. Condition. Green if you are not wounded. Yellow if you have sustained minor wounds. Red if you are critically wounded. E. Equipment. Green if you are fully equipped. Yellow if you have under 80% equipment left. Red when you're low on equipment. And black when you have nothing left. Remember to take the time to check your ammo in the inventory, your medical condition and additional special equipment, e.g. medical supplies, AT rounds, 40 mic mic HE rounds, explosives, and so on. Then check the list of group members in the SD HUD. If you are first on the list, you are the first to answer, otherwise, wait for your turn. A CITREP is a thorough report about the unit's previous, current and planned activities. It can also contain an ACE report. For examples check the actual SOP3 document. The link is on Discord under Field Manual. Before going over contact reports, we have to talk about how we, in the regiment, categorize entities that we come into contact with. Remember that categorizing contacts is based on demeanor and actions and is such a subject to change. Hostile is an individual or group of individuals who are identified as displaying hostile intent or already engaged in a hostile act. A non-combatant is a neutral individual who shows no hostile intent and takes no active part in hostilities. Non-combatants also include support personnel, whose duties preclude them from being actual belligerents. Examples of non-combatants are civilians, medical personnel, chaplains, parachuting aircrew and so on. Friendly is someone identified as a belligerent ally to the regiment. An unknown contact is someone or something that cannot be identified, nor is their intent identifiable. This can be due to obstructed view, whether it be distance, terrain or foliage, for example. In the regiment we differentiate two main types of contact. Enemy contact, also known as simply, contact, and visual contact. Enemy contact is an entity of aforementioned type, who is aware of your position and affecting you in some way. Visual contact is distinguished by enemy contact by the fact that it is an entity who is unaware of your position. A snap report is used for situations where the contact's location is obvious and identifiable by calling out a rough direction. For example, contact right and contact two o'clock. Remember, that for clarity and simplicity the direction of movement is always considered as the axis of movement, also known as 12 o'clock, and all snap reports are based off of it. A 3D report is a fast, but more informative report compared to the snap report. It consists of direction relayed as a compass bearing in degrees or a cardinal direction, if the situation permits an assumed distance in meters, and a quick description consisting of size and type. A STAL report is the most comprehensive contact report used in the regiment. It takes time to analyze the actions of those being observed and to collect additional information, so it is not preferable for a high-intensity situation. 
because of this, STAL report is mostly used in a reconnaissance and surveillance capacity. It stands for S for size or amount of objects observed. T is for type of observed objects. A for activity or actions conducted by those observed. L stands for location where the objects are being observed at. The in-game grid reference system works similarly to real-life UTM and MGRS systems. It provides the players a unified method for communicating positions of any kind. The in-game map is covered in a series of grid lines, used to pinpoint a location on the map. The vertical lines are called Eastings, since they increase in value as you travel east on the map. The horizontal lines are called Northings, since they increase in value as you travel north on the map. A grid reference is found by always going right along the corridor and then up the stairs. Meaning first you'll follow the Eastings left to right and then Northings bottom to top. The grid reference is always an even amount of numbers. The bottom left corner of the grid is where we read the grid reference from. In the regiment we mostly use 6-digit and 8-digit grid coordinates. In a 6-digit grid reference, the first three numbers indicate the x-axis, the second three numbers, the y-axis, that provides us a 100 by 100 meter area. The grid has the same orientation as a mathematical graph. X and Y axes start from the point of origin, in the bottom left corner. The X is always horizontal, the Y is always vertical. Like in math class, you read the X axis first, and then the Y axis. In this example we want the six digit grid reference for the blue triangle. Grid reference 2, 4, 3, 2, 3, 6 means 2, 4, 3 along the corridor and 2, 3, 6 up the stairs. When communicating, you can say, 6 digit grid 2, 4, 3, 2, 3, 6. A 6 digit grid is accurate to within 100 meters, meaning, that it signifies a 100 by 100 meter area not an exact point. Whereas an A digit grid reference is accurate to 10 square meters. It takes time to pull 8 digit grids, since the in game map system is not built to be that accurate, but it is possible, taking an extra 30 seconds or so. When using 8 digit grid references, always say 8 grid or 8 digit grid before transmitting them to other people, so as not to be confused with the 6 digit grid reference. Remember, that some maps are bugged, like Chernarisk, and their X and Y axes are inverted. This was a short introduction to land navigation. A more in-depth description is written down in the regiment's SOP3 document and taught in boot camp by the S7 staff. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good one.